हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand type of communication systems. We can classify communication system based on physical infrastructure and specifications of signal transmitted. If we say physical infrastructure, it refers to the type of channel used and hardware design of transmitting and receiving equipments if we say specifications of signal transmitted it refers to the nature and type of transmitting signal here we can classify the communication system based on physical infrastructure and specifications of signal transmitted if we say physical infrastructure which means it refers to the type of channel used so it will refer to the type of channel we use for communication and also it refers to hardware design of transmitting and receiving equipments and if we say specifications of signal transmitted it refers to the nature and type of transmitting signal now first let us understand the type of communication system based on physical infrastructure there are two types of communication system based on physical infrastructure first one is line communication system in line communication system there is a physical link between transmitter and receiver if we say physical link which means there is a hardware channel between transmitter and receiver if we consider radio communication there is no physical link between transmitter and receiver the first type of communication system based on physical infrastructure is line communication system in line communication system there is a physical link between a transmitter and receiver so if we say there is a physical link which means there will be a hardware channel between a transmitter and receiver we know in radio communication there is no physical link between a transmitter and receiver but in line communication there will be a physical link between transmitter and receiver if we say there is no physical link between transmitter and receiver in radio communication which means a natural resources will act as link between transmitter and receiver if we say natural resources we can say software channel will act as link between transmitter and receiver so example of software channel is space and water which we have understood in our previous lecture for example if we consider tv receiver this tv receiver can only receive information that's why it is known as one way transmission such type of systems are known as simplex systems if we consider telephony or telephone communication here the information can be transmitted and received simultaneously these systems are referred as two way transmission and this type of systems are known as duplex systems if two way transmission takes place and not simultaneously such type of systems are referred as half duplex system in half duplex system signal can be either transmitted or received at a time here we are considering an example of tv receiver in tv receiver it can only receive information so we know in tv receiver it can only receive information in tv receiver we are having only one way transmission such type of systems are referred as simplex system so the system which are having one way transmission are referred as simplex system if we consider telephony which is telephone communication here information can be transmitted and received simultaneously so in telephony there will be two way transmission 
Such type of systems are known as duplex system. If the information can be transmitted and received simultaneously, if we say simultaneously at a time, such type of systems are known as duplex system. Duplex system will be having two-way transmission. If two-way transmission takes place and not simultaneously, such type of systems are known as half duplex. So, which means in half duplex system, signal can be either transmitted or received at a time. So, we can't simultaneously transmit or receive the information. So, here in half duplex, the signal can be either transmitted or received at a time. Here, one way or two way transmission of communication system depends upon the design of equipments in transmission and reception systems. Here, a communication system can be simplex system or duplex system, but not both simplex and duplex at a time. One way or two way transmission of communication system depends on the design of equipments in transmitting and receiving systems. So, the design of equipments in transmission and reception system will decide the type of system whether it is one way system or two way transmission system. A communication system can be simplex or duplex system but not both at a time. So, a system can be either simplex system or duplex system. So, it can't be both at a time. Based on physical structure of communication system, there are two types of system. First one is line or radio communication. Second one is simplex or duplex communication. For example, if we consider TV communication system, it is combination of radio and simplex communication system. And if we consider line telephony system, it is combination of duplex and line communication system. Based on physical structure of communication system, there are two types. First one is line or radio communication system and second one is simplex or duplex communication system. If you consider TV communication system, it is the combination of both radio and simplex communication system. If you consider telephony, it is the combination of duplex and line communication system. Now, let us consider the communication system based on signal specifications. Based on signal specification, the communication systems includes nature of baseband signal or information signal and second one is nature of transmitted signal. Based on signal specifications, communication system includes nature of baseband or information signal and nature of transmitted signal. Based on nature of baseband signal, we can classify two types of systems. First one is analog communication system and second one is digital communication system. Based on nature of transmitted signal, we can classify the communication system as baseband communication system and carrier communication system. So, based on nature of baseband signal, we can classify communication system as analog communication if baseband signal is analog signal and we can call the communication system as digital communication if the baseband signal is digital signal. And depending upon the nature of transmitted signal, we can classify system as baseband communication system and carrier communication system. So, these four type of communication system categories are based on signal specifications. Out of these four communication system, at least two types are required to specify a particular communication system. So, to specify any particular communication system, at least two types of these systems are required based on signal specification as analog 
or digital communication system and baseband or carrier communication system here we need to note that a particular communication system is analog communication system or a digital communication system at a time so based on signal specification we can classify system as analog or digital communication system and baseband or carrier communication system here we need to note that particular communication system is analog communication system or digital communication system at a time so it can't be both analog or digital communication system at a time for example if you consider tv transmission it is analog communication system and if you consider high definition tv transmission it is digital communication system if we consider internet it is also an example of digital communication system for example if we consider tv transmission tv transmission is analog communication system and if we consider high definition tv transmission it is a example of digital communication system internet is also an example of digital communication system and also a particular communication system is either a baseband communication system or carrier communication system at a time for example if we consider landline telephony or fax these are the example of baseband communication system and if we consider tv transmission and radio broadcasting these are the example of carrier communication system here we need to again note that a particular communication system can be either a baseband communication system or carrier communication system at a time so it can't be both at a time so it can be either baseband communication system or carrier communication system at a time for example if we consider landline telephony or fax these are the example of baseband communication system and if we consider tv transmission and radio broadcasting these are the example of carrier communication system this is about type of communication systems hope you have understood the topic thank you